Hey everyone, it's your soul here again, and I've got a very, very interesting story here which could become very, very amusing and possibly life changing for the internet and social media in general. So, for those who aren't aware, generally speaking, social networks and similar companies tend to have protection behind the law in most countries uh, from prosecution for what's published on or distributed on the network because they aren't classed as a publisher, they're classed as a carrier of information, which means that if you or I or anybody goes and uses a social network and posts some material that, let's say, someone else takes offence to or perhaps even breaks a law of some kind, then the company that operates the social network can't be prosecuted for that because they're simply carrying messages. They're not responsible for the creation or editing or editorial uh, process behind the message actually being available to the world. And that's quite clearly defined in law. However, in a recent legal case, and apparently in more than one, which I hadn't heard of before, Facebook's lawyers have claimed openly in the documents that they've put forward that they are a publisher and that basically they are well within their right to shut down any account they want to, basically because it's their platform and they can determine who can say what. And as this piece from RT points out, that isn't really how the law works. There's a huge contradiction there. They're trying to be seen as a publisher that has the right to censor and determine editorial um, practice on the network and determine who can say what and so on, which they do do. But at the same time, they're trying to seek to have protection as a network carrier which specifically they can only have if they're not a publisher. So basically, as this piece points out, and there's quite a good video here at the end, they are literally, as it says in here, trying to have their cake and eat it. In other words, they're trying to hold two legal positions at once, which are mutually exclusive. You can't hold both those positions at once. Now, what this actually means is that, assuming they do take the position of being a publisher, perhaps in this case, in order to continue censoring people, ultimately, then basically there's a good chance it means that every time anybody says anything offensive or illegal in some way on Facebook, Facebook themselves become liable, which could potentially, if that, I mean, that is, as I understand it, how the law is meant to function. So if that avenue were taken, then that could lead to the end of Facebook, basically, because every single person that ever gets annoyed with someone on Facebook can potentially open a court case against Facebook directly as a result of that happening. And the only way Facebook could get away with it or around it would be to make the network so ridiculously controlled that literally it became like, you know, there was nothing on there but happy smiley memes and that was it. And <laughs> if you ever posted anything that was even remotely controversial or, or debatable in its intent with regards to perhaps an opinion about someone else, etc., then they would have to censor that and remove it immediately or potentially risk another court case. Obviously, that's a slightly extreme description, but that you know, it's not too far from the actual reality. So they have that option, or they have the option of basically saying, "No, no, no, we're not a publisher. Sorry, we made a mistake several times." And actually, uh, no, we're not a publisher. We're a carrier, and therefore, yes, you're right. We can't go around politically censoring people and shutting down particular voices we don't like. Uh, sorry, we won't do that anymore. So it's very interesting in the. They're basically, and the same for Google and other social networks, they're, they're being forced to, well, they should be being forced anyway through the legal system to be uh, actually taking one position or the other because the law doesn't support both. So let's have a quick watch of this video. It's quite a nice summary of it all. So what have we got here? Uh, that's better. Plaintiff. Ultra-right web activist Laura Loomer, who was taken off pretty much all major online platforms. Defendant. Facebook, one of the giants, which kicked her out. We carefully flicked through these court papers, which the defendant filed to try and bury the lawsuit. To the extent Ms. Loomer's claim targets Facebook's decision to deactivate her accounts, it is also deficient. Under well-established law, Neither Facebook nor any other publisher can be liable for failing to publish someone else's message. First Amendment provides absolute protection for such decisions. What was it again? Neither Facebook nor any other publisher? 
protection by the First Amendment. So in this particular case, the lawyers of Zuck and Co. are happy to legally refer to their social network as a publisher. Digging a bit deeper will reveal Facebook has done that in the past as well. When last year an app startup was crossing swords with Facebook in court, this is what came from the network's bench. The publisher discretion is a free speech right irrespective of what technological means is used. So is it just me or something's wrong with how the platform we use every day identifies itself? Because when Facebook bosses take questions in other places, it seems they always try to distance themselves from the notion publisher. Which are you? Are you a tech company? Or are you the world's largest publisher? Because I think that goes to a really important question on what form of regulation or government action, if any, we would take. Senator, this is a, a really big question. I, I, I view us as a tech company because the primary thing that we do is build technology and products. But you said you're responsible for your content, which makes exactly. you kind of a publisher, right? Well, I agree that we're responsible for the content, but we don't produce the content. And that's been the message for quite a while. We are a tech company, not a media company. I don't think we have to be the publisher, and we definitely don't want to be the arbiter of the truth. Now, just imagine what kind of legal trouble the tech giant may put itself in if it becomes universally recognized. The company Mr. Zuckerberg is running is a publisher, not just a tech platform. Are they really ready to be responsible for anything disturbing or outright criminal that gets posted under the blue logo? The examples have been out there in abundance. Or what if simply someone decides to lie and bully me with all kinds of offensive stuff right on Facebook? Should I then also file a defamation suit against the network because they, as a publisher, allowed it it's well known, you can't have a cake and eat it at the same time. Well, probably unless your last name is Zuckerberg. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much the situation. So I see this as a very interesting turn of events and potentially one that's going to help free speech networks such as Steam, uh, social network platforms and so on, uh, who, uh, and content creators who have been having problems being censored by Facebook because it seems like they're going to be forced one way or another to um, either seriously take a hit and even shut down aspects of what they do or they're going to have to stop censoring people. So, yeah, very interesting to see where this goes and uh, definitely if you've got any more information to add to this then let me know. As always, if you've liked this uh, info, this post then do give me a like and, a, and an upvote if you're on Steam and a reblog and a re-Steam and so on. If you're on YouTube, please do consider subscribing and hit the notification bell to uh, receive all notifications in the future. And until next time, thanks for watching. Peace.